Hello, you beautiful people. Another beautiful night or day. <laughs> you must pledge your allegiance to the chief. <laughs> Sitting here playing around with people. How y'all doing? Uh oh, so Microsoft. Rumor mill, huh? So Microsoft and Bethesda send earthquakes, shockwaves, tsunamis, tornadoes, cyclones, <laughs> floods, hurricanes with that deal, huh? Yeah, no. They did it silently while nobody, while everybody didn't, while everybody was blinded. So guess what? So now there's a rumor going around. This is just a rumor. Got this article on Gamers Rant saying a rumor Microsoft might be preparing another Bethesda level acquisition. I wouldn't be surprised by it. Why not? They already tried to go after some companies after that. After that deal, so why not? So I mean if if, if Sony if Sony can get time exclusive and exclu exclusives, why can't Microsoft? You know what I'm saying? So go for it. Um says here Rumor Microsoft might be preparing another uh, Bethesda like level acquisition. A new rumor indicates that Microsoft may be preparing a big Bethesda level acquisition that will have internet lawyers debating monopoly laws. It ain't a monopoly. It's not a monopoly. Look, if Sony, if Sony, if Sony can get exclusive games and tell studios to get to to to, uh, to put time exclusive on games then Microsoft has the right to get whatever studio they want. Stop hating. That's all I can say. Y'all some Xbox haters. And like I said before, Xbox haters are everywhere. Anyway, listen to this. Needless to say, the Microsoft acquisition of Bethesda still rocks the industry. Of course it did. So, of course it did. Despite Starfield being confirmed as an Xbox exclusive and Elder Scrolls 6, Likely, all but confirmed to be, fans keep debating everything that comes out of Bethesda. This isn't likely going to going anywhere soon, especially with all the studios under Bethesda's umbrella. But Microsoft isn't stopping with Bethesda. It is a matter of when, not if, Microsoft acquires another name for its Xbox Studios. In fact, there have been several rumors Thus far, Microsoft working on a new deal and of it being acquisition season, Sony has acquired a few studios. Okay, so if Sony acquires few studios, then why can't Microsoft stop hating? Anyway, few studios over the past few months, but Microsoft has been oddly quiet. And that may be according to a new rumor because Microsoft is going big again. <laughs> it's just a rumor. Rumor meaning that they don't know. They just speculating. Because they're still shocked by that, that Zenimax Bethesda deal. They're like, okay, who's next on the list? <laughs> anyway, Skull, Skullzy, a gaming new YouTuber, recently tweeted that he had heard crazy rumors about a potential forthcoming acquisition. He went on to imply the online reaction would be huge. Possibly even contentious, as he predicted. A lot of internet lawyers debating monopoly laws at some point in the future. Internet lawyers can't stop nothing. They don't own nothing. Okay? If a company want to be bought, they can get bought. Period. Anyway, says here, uh, <clears throat> some Xbox fans have taken a look at Skullzy's tweet, which has been live for a matter of hours and connected to some other tweets from important Xbox community members and other notable reporters, for example, in a now deleted but captured for prosperity tweet from Xbox social media manager Steen, I mean Stein, he implies that this that his mind is blown with a fun with a fun GIF after leaving a work work meeting. This and a couple of others have have been made in the past few days and then it says here notably however this is not evidence and anything about any new Microsoft acquisition should be taken with a grain of salt until it's confirmed by the company it has acquired a lot of talent in recent years 
and it's likely the full strength of his acquisition will come to the fore over the next couple of years. Adding on top of that doesn't seem impossible. Of course, the big question on everyone's mind, assuming this rumor is true, is just what Microsoft is acquiring. Rumors suggest that it is a juggernaut in the gaming space. Some have pointed to Rockstar Games' parent company Take-Two Interactive, which is only fan speculation at this time, but that would indeed rival Bethesda's acquisition again. Right now, it's just rumor and speculation, but once upon a time, no one ever would have thought Bethesda would be acquired. So almost any go anything goes when it comes to Microsoft acquisitions. And that's the end of the studio, man. Look, man. Remember when you guys, the remember when you YouTubers was was going at uh, Bethesda, calling them out over the Fallout situation. Remember when you made fun of them? Now it has come back to haunt you. See, you people took uh, Bethesda for granted. You took their Elder Scrolls for granted. You took their Fallout for granted. And all the other games that they have, you took them for granted like they weren't important. Okay. So when Microsoft was trying to get this Game Pass thing going, I'm pretty sure they went to plenty of studios. A lot of them said no. And they looked at ZeniMax Bethesda and said, okay. Bethesda was like, okay, let's talk. It took them three years. But they did it, but they did it silently. Not with rumors, silently. That means nobody knew. Okay? Nobody knew about it. It was not one speck of news about Microsoft trying to buy Zenimax Bethesda. And at that time, people were poking Microsoft. Oh, you ain't got no exclusives. Oh, you ain't got no games. You didn't sell enough consoles. Microsoft said, okay, we shall see about that. Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer warned you, he gave you a clue. What did he say? Sales ain't the end all be all to video games. Hmm. And then once he said that, everybody thought he was joking. It ain't a joke no more. Okay? Microsoft is real. Okay? They're not playing. Okay? So, this notion that they don't got any, any exclusives anymore, that argument is out the window. Can't say that. They got games, they got hitters. Okay, so another acquisition. Hey, if it happens, it happens. Whatever happens, happens, man. If it happens, it happens. So, you know, if, if a per, if a studio want to be get get if a studio want to be bought by Microsoft, it's gonna happen. No, no lawyer can stop it. Okay, if a studio say, okay, I want to be under the Microsoft umbrella, no lawyer can stop it. Remember that. So. Microsoft can get whatever studio they want. Any studio, any studio can say, okay, we want to we want to make games for Microsoft. There's nothing a lawyer can do. Okay? So that's just the way it is, man. So if they get another if they get if they get another uh, another studio, so be it. Okay. See you see you PlayStation and and uh, PlayStation fans and used to run your mouth and say they didn't have no exclusive. You kept poking them and poking them. They said, okay, we're going to respond. And respond, they did. So, yeah. That Zenimax Bethesda deal sent earthquakes, tsunami, floods, shockwave. Okay? Stunned people. Okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people were trying to downplay the deal like it wasn't huge. But it was huge on a console standpoint. It was huge. So, Yeah. Microsoft ain't to be played with, man. <laughs> you know? And Game Pass is no joke. <laughs> so yeah, if a studio wants to be on the Microsoft for, uh, umbrella, it's gonna happen. Okay? If a studio, if any studio wants to be on the micro, any gaming studios want to be on their Microsoft umbrella, you can complain about Monopoly all you want. If a studio wants to be on their Microsoft umbrella. There is nothing a lawyer can do. Okay? And that's just the way it is. It's going to happen. Okay? You can talk about Monopoly all you want to. You can go to Congress with it all you want to. If the studio specifically say, we want to make games for Microsoft only, 
There's nothing a lawyer can do. Okay? There's nothing a prosecutor can do. There's nothing they can do. If there's any studios, any studio out there, we want to be under Microsoft umbrella. There's nothing they can do. That's just the way it is. Okay? So, all this talk about monopoly need to go out the window. Okay? If a studio love Microsoft and what they're doing for the gaming industry, and they want to be under Microsoft umbrella, there's nothing a lawyer can do. Okay? It's going to happen. That's just the way it is. So, yeah. So, so if, if, if Sony... If Sony, if Sony can get exclusive studios, so can Microsoft. Okay? So can Microsoft. Okay? So I want to hear this. I want to hear this complaint talking about, oh man, oh man, oh, oh, Microsoft is buying up all the studios. Well, if that's the, okay then, 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 then if Sony can do it, then so can Microsoft. Period. You know? So yeah. If a studio wants to be under Microsoft umbrella, they can do it. Because it's their studios and they make their own rules. If they say, that, uh, we don't want to have nothing to do with PlayStation. If a studio say, okay, we don't want to have nothing to do with PlayStation or Nintendo. We want to make games for Microsoft. They can do it. Okay? So, yeah. So, this notion that it's a monopoly. Y'all need to grow up, man. <laughs> y'all really need to grow up. Okay? And that's just the way it is. <clears throat> so, yeah. Microsoft is making moves. Okay? They're making moves. So, you can't laugh. You can't, you can't make fun of them. You can't make fun of them anymore. And for, the, and for those YouTubers who made those fake Xbox One videos, this in the Xbox One. What is Xbox One players right, doing right now? Talking about, what is Xbox One players doing right now? Playing next-gen games. Okay? The Xbox One is a winner. So, all you people who made those fake Xbox One videos taking shot at the console... Y'all need to take those videos down, man. The Xbox One is the truth. Okay? It's a winner. Matter of fact, Xbox One runs 2021 right now. So, yeah. If Microsoft want to own a studio, if a studio specifically say, we want to make games for Microsoft, there is nothing a lawyer can do. Nothing. If a sp studio specifically states, or you can take it to Congress all you want to, but if the studio specifically states, we want to make games for Xbox, there is nothing a lawyer can do, okay? Because the studio controls their own company. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, all this nonsense about, oh, man, well, there's a monopoly and Microsoft is... Stop it, okay? Come on, man. Yeah, Microsoft, Mike, Mike, Mike. There's a lot of studios... <laughs> The, I, w I would not be surprised on the next next studio they, 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 they get. I would not be surprised, man. So, it's the way it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> Microsoft is just taking care of business right now. That's all they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Internet lawyers can... Internet, inter internet lawyers need to be quiet. Okay? Because if a studio specifically states, any gaming studios, we want to make games for Microsoft only. There's nothing a lawyer can do. Okay? There's nothing a lawyer can do. But yeah. So so yeah. So when Microsoft makes when the next studio comes along, all they got all they can do is they can't do anything. That's what the studio wants. You know? If Sony can get if Sony can get studios, so can Microsoft. Why is it when Sony gets studios, nobody complain? But when Microsoft does it does it, it's a problem. Seems like a double standard to me. So, look, man, Microsoft can do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying, and like I said, any gaming studios out there that make video games, if they specifically state they want to be under that Microsoft umbrella and they want to make games for Microsoft, they can do what they want, man. And there's nothing a lawyer can do. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. <clears throat> nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Borg, Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.